did y'all see did you see this conversation between this is ridiculous by the way uh between boosie and ti did y'all see this i've nope. seen a snippet so you know they were about to do an album together right nope they did the album <laughs> it's like nine songs i think i don't know if it's complete that's what i heard i can't think of an album i would want to listen to less so <laughs> Here, here, here's, I'm sorry, I, and I like Boosie's interviews, but, he, but uh, no, a Boosie and Ti album that sounds awful. We know, we know about the, we talked mm. about the snitching culture in hip hop, right? Yeah. And how this continues to come up, and it's on every outlet, and it's on everything that's on YouTube, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So Boosie is going decided to cancel the album because Ti said that he snitched on his dead cousin. Why is this so important, and why would he miss out on a bag for a chance to do an album? They got a reality show coming out. All for the sake of, sake of snitching in hip hop. To me, this is ridiculous. Do you know how dope that album would be for them? And he's gonna not put it out just because of this this conversation doesn't make sense to me. And I think the conversation is getting ridiculous in hip hop because everything is based off somebody telling. Like, why is this so important? It's not. It's not important at all. Honestly, I, all this street talk is is so played. Thank you. Um, as far as actual art going, like. Everybody doesn't need to tell every story, you know, but even if they tell the stories like who I mean, look, I want to go home. I've told you all that. Yeah. If, if, if anybody got to, and if I can go home by telling somebody who's not here, I'm going to go on home. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't yeah, know why I, people I respect it. Look, everyone talks about snitching. Yeah, we snitches get stitches. Look. I don't. When's the last time some snitches actually got some stitches? Snitches seem to be hey, thriving man, out listen. here. Hey, listen. I don't know what y'all are even talking about. <laughs> hey. Pump your brakes on that. <laughs> uh, you say, Terry, there's, hold a, on. there's a reason why you don't hear about it because uh, it, it happens for real. So we got to clear that one up. So this is not a PSA to tell you to be out here just running your mouth. <laughs> stuff that you ain't got nothing to do with because uh, that's not what we're doing here, right? We, that's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing, sir. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not one of these people who wants to get on and start looking at people's paperwork. I, once again, I got other things to do. But guess, uh, guess whose platform this this was that's on? That's what I'm saying. for Boosie's his his fan base. Uh -huh. yes. he's doing absolutely the right thing. That is a, that is true. That part is true. So you 100%. You, you have to realize who his fan base is and who he everybody is. don't listen to Boosie like that. I'm not a Boosie fan like that to where I'm listening to his records and albums and stuff all the time. He got a huge I, I do fan like base here. I do like his interviews. I do like some of his singles. Blah blah blah. But I'm not Boosie's core fan base. His core fan base is the ones that told him pretty much you're associating with this, that, and the third. So for him, it's it's hitting him in his pockets to put out this album. His uncle called him and told him not to put it yeah, out. Yeah. So it it directly affects him. It doesn't align with what he's doing as far as ti he said his dead cousin came to him and told him he was supposed to tell him or whatever that's that's neither Wait, like in a dream i guess something weird yeah. stupid boosie's right. problem is why did you wait until we do this album and start talking that mess <laughs> he, he literally said that yeah because now now you messing up the bottom line for me and you essentially if this was going to do anything because i mean their their fan base is kind of aligned but they're still kind of different look rappers if all you got is uh, street stories and and look at my paperwork. Then okay, that's go on these platforms and talk about that. But like, if you actually have music and TV shows, keep all this stuff to yourself. That's my thing. I'm sorry, but like, it doesn't benefit anybody in any way, shape, or form. Like, you are tax paying citizens at this point. Terry makes a please good, stop. Terry makes a good point about get Boosie, some help about Boosie's fan base. <laughs> stop it. Get some help. Michael Jordan PSA. <laughs> I remember that that gif. Yeah. Uh, but you're right about his fan base in terms of him and his principles and what he's stand on. I, I I get that part. I'm I'm just looking at it from the con the idea of you having a chance to put an album out with Ti and y'all already working on a reality show. You're going to y'all just going to scrap quote unquote scrap that the album he said for sure he wants to scrap. I don't or know it might, it might be a rollout for that album to eventually manifest somewhere. in 2023 somewhere you are you are correct that is everything's believable. a rollout in 2023 you might yeah. be right i'm cynical might be right. that way i'm sorry y'all might be right it's just i just the concept of all this like you see paperwork everywhere man it's just it's just getting annoying bro because that has nothing to do with putting art. out records and art it has nothing to do that do with that and it's becoming the game is becoming oversaturated with this conversation to be and and we're still talking about it exactly you sure aren't <laughs> <laughs> So I mean, it just depends on the fan base. Like yeah. we're we're not people that would care so much about that. You're right. You feel me? You're right. So it doesn't 
affect us here nor there. I do but in the same me. token, like I'm uh, not, I'm I ain't not, got nothing to do with none of that. I'm uh, not mad running your mouth <laughs> about. I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm not clear, mad at Gunner. He did not want to be in prison for Christmas. I get it. Yeah. Well. So <laughs> his fan base, based on his fan base, he's going to suffer behind this. That's a good point. Let him come out with something that really slaps. You I sure? Know. I don't know, Jay Moore, at this point. Look, a hit record and a thousand yard season fix everything. That's what he's talking about. If he if he decides <laughs> to cross over and uh do something different, then that new fan base Look, may let, be let, for let, it. let Gunner say, Okay, I'm not messing with let me I'll, I'll Doja Cat to do his long with me. I'll be all right. <laughs> I don't know. Uh six nine ain't faring very well out here. He's no still, no matter still, how he's spinning and try to act like he this, that, and third, or whatever fuck Master Flex was on talking about he's gonna run run his records. He doesn't have a record for you to run, sir, because nobody's messing with him. He'll still go over to Dubai or somewhere where the streets. Yeah, he can go over there. Yeah, yeah, he's some, he'll figure it out. I think he'll get a bag over there, huh? He's been getting bags over there. I, Gunner I probably don't speak attention. another language, though. He ain't going to speak another language. You just speak the language of have my deposit. Yeah. That's, <laughs> but see, the, 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 lure, the yeah. lure of uh, uh, 6 9 he can, he can go overseas and talk to them, make a song in their native language. When what languages goes, does he speak? He speaks That's a good uh, English and uh, Spanish, I believe. Does he? Yeah. Well, he ain't gonna. I mean, I know he's. Well I know Dubai. he's supposed to be. <laughs> well, maybe not Dubai. I don't even know if he's been to Dubai. No, to I do saw that because he got into it with somebody. But I know. Over there. I do know that he goes over to Spanish-speaking countries gotcha. and does a lot of performing. I, so. I can see long, the wheels in his head turning like Spanish in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was he just, ain't doing no songs no, with Bad Bunny. I, I know no, that. No. no, the most I was like, wow, maybe because Bad Bunny is smart. <laughs> well, for sure, absolutely. <laughs> but I, I was just like, maybe Takashi is just a super troll. Maybe he speaks nine languages or something. Nah, he, he ain't speaking <laughs> languages like that. But he said a super troll. Yeah, he is a super troll. He definitely is. Super well, troll. like I said, man, it, I don't know what y'all on, but I I would like to hear that album. I, 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 which know, album? Six nine? No, no. I'm talking about the. <laughs> oh. Come on now. <laughs> That's like CNC Music Factory. You said um, you want to hear that, so to you, I'm talking about. So, know. what else we got to talk about? <laughs> well, we got a couple options. Uh, <laughs> the weather is up and down. You it know? is <laughs> 60 degrees tomorrow, and then low of 20, I think. Yeah, whatever. 25. 